All right, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Barakatha Yahawu, Barakatha Yaharashai, Kohalau Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Kohalau Yahawu Ba Hashem Yaharashai, Ba Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Ba Hashem in the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. Ba Hashem in the name of the Rakak Kwadash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or other speckled bird looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashem and Hashai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such and commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we are sent to captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice, <clears throat> so, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, he's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. To be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the understanding to the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, <clears throat> we're able to know, uh, you know, the blueprint of what it takes to be able to um, seek salvation. And one of them is, uh, you know, suffering. Okay, suffering is very important. You know, of course, uh, the doctrine, you know, coming with the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, but there's a lot of things that go, you know, behind the scenes that brothers go through. Okay, that, um, you know, maybe, you know, when you're on, you know, these doing these videos or on the highways and the byways or even around brothers, you know, they might not see. Okay, so, the, but the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, sees all. Okay, beholding, you know, the things good and evil. Okay, Proverbs. Uh, uh, Job 15 and 3, okay, the eyes, of, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, okay, and these things that are happening <clears throat> are ultimately, uh, you know, far as the suffering part, far as the, you know, the so-called bad parts, okay, are part of the journey, okay, is part of what, you know, when you heard this word and, and you decided to, you know, you know, listen more and more, you know, because uh, it speaks about in the scriptures, you know, <clears throat> prepare thy soul for temptation um also count the cost you know um and every brother you know be fully persuaded in their mind you know about this truth because it's it is a life and death situation once you know you put your hand to the plow okay your judgment you know and if you put it down okay you put your hand to the plow and then you put it down the lord has a, a swift judgment for that okay <clears throat> that's why it speaks about in first peter 4 and 17 judgment must begin at the house of israel okay that's that goes into um you know the fear of the lord too the terror of the lord because one day you could be in it and one day you could be out of it you know but we but in trusting in your Shema Shah, he's never going to give you too much you can't handle so this lesson is going to be centered around this is the elder bishop i believe his name is uh matazak and he was speaking about suffering so i'm going to play a little bit of the clip and then i'm going to come with some scriptures lord will identify it and his uh, handle is uh, Jacob Barak 2. Okay, and I'll put the link in the description to describe to the elder bishop. Okay. You know, Shad, you have more so called bad times, but then you learn how to what? You learn how to relish. Hell, you learn how to, uh, you learn how to um, you know, you turn your hell into heaven, so to speak. You know, you learn how to embrace the, the pain and sufferings of your Howard Shot. All right, you learn how to truly embrace the pain and sufferings that come along with this knowledge. Because again, I'm, I always say it, it's a package deal with this truth. We got the greatest knowledge ever that existed on the whole planet in the galaxy. But guess what? It's a weight that comes with that, man. Uh, who's that? Is that Ecclesiastes 1 and 18? He that increases in, in knowledge, increases in grief and sorrow. Uh, roughly quoting it. All right, so that's Ecclesiastes, the second uh, chapter in the book of Right, so that's the that's the condition of the battle. So that's why we we, we catching the hell that we catching, you know. Which, which, you know, not that it feels good. Like again, that shit. The scriptures say Yahweh Shai despised it, man. But for the glory that was set before him, he endured it, man. So that's where we at with it because shit, is, man. This devil, 
all this back and forth with, with Russia and, and, and China and everything. All right, so let's go into some um, some scriptures. All right, so the brother brought out um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, for in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increased knowledge increased sorrow. Okay, so this wisdom, you know, sets us above the nation's far as in wisdom. Because we had the blueprint of of uh, what Esau Edom is going to be doing, you know, the so called white man, okay. But also we have the blueprint of what the Lord wants us, uh, you know, has set for as far as in the kingdom, but has set for as far as in the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. The Lord's got our back all the way through, okay. But we have to reach to the end. We have to make it to the end, okay. And in that time span, there's going to be uh, much grief. There's going to be much sorrow because that's part of the job. You know, even in the, a worldly job, those that have a high point in uh, position, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of things that go on in their life. OK, because what this this word, you know, uh, cuts off a lot of people going into Hebrews 4 and 12, the cutting cutting of the sword, the two edged sword, you know, cutting asunder. OK, because it's going to divide you from other things of this world and make you what uh, holy, make you separate from from the things in this world because the things of this world are set up for traps and snares so while while the kingdom while this wisdom is is uh the conversation is being played out in heaven far as uh rulership okay so ecclesiastics 1 and 18 in the nlt it says the greater my wisdom okay and this is uh king solomon uh saying this okay king solomon was how if can be able to receive it okay and he was also what the wisest man the richest man Okay, and this is what he said, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. The greater my wisdom, the greater my grief. To increase knowledge only increases sorrow. Okay, but, uh, you know, in the video, the brother speaks about also, you know, but you want to increase in wisdom, okay? Because wisdom is, is able to, you know, give you, uh, uh, you know, refuge and shelter. And it also shows that how much am I shy and something with you, Okay. So through much tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom, right? So these are some scriptures that, you know, came to mind. This is uh, just the spirit. Philippians 1 and 29. It says, for unto you it is, it is given in the behalf of Hamashiach, not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. So not only to what believe in Yaharashah Hamashiach, Okay, but to suffer for his sake, because Yahweh Shai did a great, you know, a great wonder, a great uh, um, a thing far as putting Israel on his back. Okay, coming in a, um, you know, a, a meek and lowly uh, in the flesh, you know, being perfect, being that perfect lamb. Okay, um, you know, being mocked, being scoffed and doing the will of Yahweh. Okay, because also another thing that Yahweh Shai said you know, Matthew 5, 48, be ye perfect as my father is in heaven. Perfect. Okay. Far as in the scriptures. Now we know our righteousness of filthy rags. And we know that also that, um, you know, we're subject to sin. Okay. But the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah is going to be able to what purge away our sins, purge away our dross. And, and for the, the, you know, the, the stuff that, um, you know, is there, Yahweh Shai is going to be able to make that right. Okay, but that goes into being predestined, being one of the elect, and also what going through the sufferings, okay, and not and not giving up. Okay. Philippians 1 and 29 in the NLT, it says, For for you have been given not only the privilege of trusting in Hamashiach, but also the privilege of suffrage suffering for him. Okay, so this is a privilege. Okay, it might not seem like it now, but those that have the true mindset. Of Hamashiach, far as the heart of Hamashiach, uh, we understand that there's greater things. Okay, it's not just it's not this uh, just this. I believe the brother's video was called that. Yeah, endure. This is not. Yeah, this is not forever. Okay, this is not forever. This is only but for a moment. Okay, it speaks about that in uh, you know Second Corinthians four. Okay, that that we're only we're suffering for uh, something that's um, temporal. While we're, we're, you know, we're setting our eyes on something eternal, which is the kingdom. 
privilege. So I just want to get this word privilege in the Google definition. It says a special right, advantage, or in immunity. Yeah, immunity from what? Judgment. Okay, because we are what? Judge. Um, we are judged by, um, let me just get the scripture. First Corinthians 11 and 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that we should not be condemned with the world. Okay, so we are judged. We're being chastised right now. Okay, and that's a blessing to be chastised from the Lord because that shows you're not a bastard. Okay, that we should not be condemned. Condemned goes in the judge with the world. So we're being judged right now or chastised right now. So we're not judged with the world as far as the plagues and the, and the, the famine and the tribulation. Okay. So when, again, I want to read this again. This is the Google definition that we're privileged. A special right. Yeah, it's a special right. It's a gift from up high. Okay. And the brother also spoke about that too. You know, being a, a straight gift from up high. A special right, advantage, or immunity granted or available only to a particular person or group yeah so only to a particular person or group and who is that particular person or group romans 11 and 7 they're the only ones that are really going to endure the true suffering that it takes to be able to seek salvation romans 11 and 7 what then israel not obtained it which he seek it for but the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded so what's the um you know obtain what the truth Okay, only elect's going to be able to attain the truth, while the rest were blinded by what? The God of this world. Okay? That goes all the way back to Genesis 3 and 24. Okay, where the cherubims, which are the angels, blinded, um, you know, the two-thirds from the, what? The tree of life. Okay, the tree of immortality. They weren't given the privilege. Again, this is predestined for the foundation of the earth, and it's only for what? The elect. Only the elect are going to be able to endure the suffering that it takes to be able to seek salvation. Okay, Philippians 1 and 29 in the NLT, it says, for you have been given not only the privilege of trusting in a Mashiach, so the privilege of what trusting in a Mashiach, okay, but also the privilege of suffering for him. So suffering, you know, enduring infirmities, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, it might be your woman, it might be, you know, you have, uh, you know, your knees, your, your, your leg, a uh, place that you live, your job, um, you know, all sorts of things uh, that could be happening, okay? But the thing is, is that your um, your adversity, okay, is actually, let me get that, five and three. <laughs> Romans five and three in the NLT. Or actually, I'll just read in the King James Version. It says, not only so, but we glory in the tribulations also, knowing that the tribulation worketh patience. Yeah, so let's get this word tribulation real quick. Strong's G, 2347. Thlipsis. 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 Okay, so in the Greek, 2347, oppressing, pressing together. Pressure, metaphor, oppression, okay? We're under our oppressor right now. We're not free. We're not in Juneteenth. We're not in uh, 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 Fourth of July. We're not free, okay? We're under any, we're behind enemy lines, okay? And our only power is Yahab, our power, and one and only power is Yahabah Shimon Rashad, okay? And that is, and he is what the, the, the creator of everything, okay? Of good and evil, okay? Oppression, affliction. Yeah, so affliction. You know, when you look at your check, that's affliction, okay? Because you're getting you're getting uh, taken at every every single spot. But the Lord has given you great wisdom, okay? Tribulation, yeah, because there's going to be a famine, okay, ahead, okay? There's going to be more pestilence. There's going to be earthquakes in diverse places. There's going to be class wars. There's going to be civil wars. There's going to be distress, okay? There's going to be more barium aluminum. There's going to be more. Uh, you know, uh, uh, spirits created for vengeance, straits, yeah, which is straight is a position, slack, a position of difficulty, okay, that we have to be able to walk through to be able to seek salvation. It speaks about the apocrypher, 2nd Ezra 7, uh, great, a deep water on, on one side and a, and a fire on another, okay, but the Lord's going to guide us through that straight path, a position of difficulty, anguish, burden, persecution, pressure. Yeah, because it's a lot of pressure to keep pushing out videos every day. But again, it's given from up high. 
Okay, this is not of of our own, um, you know, our own. Uh, I'll get the scripture. This is John three and twenty seven. It says John answered and said, "A man can receive nothing except it be given from him, from heaven." Okay, and it also speaks about Ephesians two and eight. Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of the Most High. So it's not of yourselves. Okay. And it says, not of your works, lest any man should boast. So the Lord hates um, people that are boasted because ultimately the videos that you do or going out on the highways and the byways, that's your, or the, the prayer that you have, the faith that you have, the hope that you have, that's your Haba Hashem giving that to you. Okay. Not of your works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship. Created in a Mashiach Yaharashai unto good works, which our power had before ordained that we should walk in them. Yeah, we should have been walking in those ways. But because we went off, okay, we were um, compassed about, you know, uh, you know, uh, subject to the to the curses. Okay. Um, and the only person that can be able to uh, release those curses is Yaharashai because Yaharashai is the physician. And they, and through those curses, you know, we set forth Esau, Edom, the disease. Okay, which Harashai is going to cure that disease as far as through this word, okay, through the cleansing of this word, through making us uh, um, upright. Ephesians 2 and 10 in the NLT. For we are our power's masterpiece. He has created us anew in a Mashiach, Yaharashai, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. Yeah, follow Yahabah Shemel Ashai, because Yahabah Shemel Ashai, Dharami 7 and 6, set us above the nations. Okay, with the law, statutes, and commandments, and we are the Lord's portion. Okay, not these other heathen nations. These other heathen nations are um, nothing but a bucket of spittle. Let's go back to this. this is Romans 5 and 4. And patience and experience. So patience goes into long suffering. Okay, it goes into what? Enduring. Patience is a virtue. Okay, patience goes into long suffering. Virtue goes into your morals, your moral standard. What do you stand for? Going into the Lord, what disciplining us, you know, uh, you know, spiritual soldiers. Okay, in a, in a war, you have to have discipline. You can't just go off. I'm going to go this way, and then you go, you know, you're going away from your your troops. Okay, which ultimately leads you to get you, you know get get knocked off because you're out in the world. Okay, um, the things in this, you know, just stay on the porch. Uh, the brothers from Birmingham always say, just stay on the porch. Don't go out there. Okay, because there's nothing in this world but traps and snares. Okay, and it's very easily to be get, get caught up in the things of this world. Okay, Romans 5 and 4 in the NLT, and endurance develops strength of character. And character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. Yeah, because before we came into this truth, we were just niggas. Okay, niggas, spigs, wetbacks. Okay, we were, in, we were in gross darkness, but the Lord now has shined a great light of truth and understanding, which is this word. That's able to uh, build our character, build us, build our character far as in, in the way of righteousness, not in the way of this world. Okay, Romans five and five. This is the point right here. And hope make not ashamed because of our love of our power is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So the Holy Spirit was given unto us. Okay, which is a, a, a you know beyond great gift. Okay, but we have to hold on to that gift. We can't just give it to somebody else. Okay, Romans 5 and 5, it says in the NLT, and this hope will not lead to disappointment. Okay, it's not going to lead to disappointment. Those that trust in Yahweh Shemashai, those that are of the elect. For we know, it says, for we know how dearly our power, Yahweh Shemashai, loves us because he had given us the Holy Spirit, yeah, the Rakakodash, Kodash, to fill our hearts with his love. And what's his love? The scriptures come from one another with these scriptures. Okay, these strip, uh, also the um, Yaharashai is known as the Comforter, which the Comforter comes with the Yaharashai, but also comes with the Word, which is also Yaharashai, comes with the Holy Spirit, which is Yaharashai, and also the words of this book, which are all commandments and the business of Yahweh Hashem Yaharashai. Okay, so it's a it's a package deal. Okay, and the Lord's given that great gift to those that receive it, those that endure. Okay, endure what the suffering. Okay. And endure the privilege. It says, let me read it again. Philippians 1 and 29 in the NLT. For you have been given not only the privilege of trusting in the Mashiach, but also the privilege of suffering for him. We are 
in your struggle together. You have seen my struggle in the past, and you know that I am still in the midst of it. Yeah, because Yahweh Shai still hasn't got his glory. Okay, and through um, you know he sees us what suffering. Okay, yeah, the the day burns. Um, you know, fury burns in, in the Lord's heart to come back and seek vengeance on his enemy, but he has to wait on the uh, as far as the prophecies that happen. All the the things in this book have to be fulfilled. Okay. So this is 2 Corinthians. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 1 and 5. It says, For as our sufferings, Slaki, it says, For as our sufferings of Amashiach abound in us, so our consolation also abound by Hamashiach. Okay, so let's read this in a T. For the more we suffer for Hamashiach, the more our power will shower us with his comfort through Hamashiach. Okay? I want to get this word consolation. Strong's G, 3874. Paraklesis. Paraklesis. Okay, yeah, that's in the Greek, 3874. Okay? And it says, a calling near, a summons, especially for help. And what were we calling for help from Yahweh Shah? Okay. It says, supplication, okay, exhortation, encouragement. And that's what these videos are. They're encouragement. Either to, you know, encourage you far as in, in, in your path and in, 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 um, exhortation. Or, um, you know, also to, to show you what's going on in the world. Okay, to push that fear far as, <laughs> you know, to push the fear because, it, it, you know, and fear in Yahabba Shem Yahashai because there's great terrorists that are headed, you know, headed uh, towards this way. Okay, many great miseries for those that walked in great pride, but those that are humble in themselves being meek and lowly, okay, it's, it's, we just have to go through it. Okay, and the Lord is what encouraging us through his words, okay, through sending forth again his disciples. You know, sending forth um, the pastors of his own heart, you know, sending forth prophets, you know, apostles to be able to give us the warning. Uh, persuasive uh, discourse during address, instructive, okay, powerful, all right. So we get the point. So, consolation. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians 1 and 6, it reads, And whether we be afflicted, it is for our consolation and salvation. Yes, yeah, so for our encouragement, right? And salvation, which is affectional and enduring of, of same sufferings, which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for consolation and salvation. Our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the suffering, so shall you be also of the consolation. So let's read this NLT. It says, we are confident that as you share in our sufferings, you will also share in the comfort of Yahweh Shemar Shai gives you. Yeah, you will also share. So the things that you learn, okay, as far as you get, you you know, uh, the Lord draws you into the truth, okay? And then what do you, you eat the whole roll as far as you, you're studying, you're watching videos, you're praying to the Lord. And when, you, and when, you, when that time's ready, you're able to go out and teach others or teach what you know, okay? And that's all part of the ministry. Now, everybody's not going to be a prophet, okay? But the thing is, is that you're able to, um, you know, you're not mocking and scoffing the true, the, you're not men, you're, socking, you're not mocking and scoffing the Lord, okay? You're not mocking and scoffing as far as the scriptures and the men that he sent, okay? You're what, bearing that indignation, because this is the first scripture that I thought of when the brother said that, Micah 7 and 9, it says, I will bear that indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause, I will execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Okay? And the Lord is going to behold his righteousness. Okay? I will bear that indignation. Indignation is righteous anger because I have sinned. Okay? Going into the only people that were given uh, the law or, you know, uh, the law set your commandments were the Hebrew Israelites. So they're the only people that can sin. What is sin? Transgression of the law. Okay? And <clears throat> we have sinned, so that's why we're in this uh, situation. But the Lord is showing us mercy and truth by sending forth his prophets, sending forth his word again. 
okay? Until he plead my cause, yeah, because the Lord is beginning to plead that cause as far as this word being uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, and it's reaching the gates of the nobles, and they're being found liars, and now there's they're they're about to move, about to move on what the houses and and uh, the 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 destruction is about to come, okay? But we have the truth and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light. Yeah, the truth and shall behold his righteousness. Okay, but all we got to do is what? Hold on. This was Micah 7 and 9 in the Good News Bible. As it reads, I'll start from 7. It says, but I will watch the Lord. I will wait confidently for our power who will save me. My power will hear me. Our enemies have no reason to go over us. We have fallen, but we will rise again. Yeah, because our enemies is not because they are strong or anything like that. It's because we were under the curses because we move Yahweh Shema Shai to anger. That's why we were put in a low position. It wasn't because of our, because uh, our enemies are good people. Okay. Micah 7 and 8, it says, our enemies have no reason to gloat over us. We have fallen, but we will rise again. And that's what's happening. The tabernacle of David is being built, built up on the days of old through our blood, sweat, and tears, starting with our Lord Yahweh Shai being risen up. We will rise again. We are in darkness now. Yeah, the confusion, but the Lord will give us light. Yeah, will give us the truth. Now we are what in the truth because we know who we are. Okay, and that's a, a <clears throat> that's a tool, that's a weapon, a spiritual weapon that's cutting Esau Edom every day because he tried it, everything he could to be able to, you know, give us that white pale face image, you know, take things out of the Bible, okay, and he's being revealed for all those wicked things that he has done. And now what es Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is making, uh, is being made bare by what the servants, the prophets, the ones that he oppressed the most, okay, the ones that he oppressed, which are the Hebrew Israelites. Micah 7 and 9, Good News Bible. We have sinned against the Lord, so now we must endure his anger for a while. But in the end, he will defend us and right the wrongs that have been done to us. He will bring us out to the light. We will live to see him and save us. Yeah, so um, going into Psalms, Saki, uh, Isaiah, 60, Isaiah 62. Okay. Shall see the eyes of your teacher. Let me get that scripture because that, that is the light. Okay, and that's the Lord what showing mercy. This is Isaiah. They would be the ones that are adoring the most affliction, the most suffering, because through much wisdom is much grief. I read, uh, read that uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen. Okay, those watchmen are what the, the, uh, the prophets Okay, upon the walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night, yet make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. So we're not supposed to keep silence, so we're not supposed to put the plow down or go do other things. Okay, Isaiah 62 and 7. I give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise on the earth. And Yahweh has sworn by his right hand, which is Yahweh Shai, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give the corn to the meat for thy enemies. Sons of strangers shall not drink thy wine for which thou hast labored. Okay, going into we're not going to be in slavery anymore. Okay, because the Lord has shined a great light, the truth, but we got to endure to the end. We have to endure what the uh, bearing, um, you know, bearing the, the righteous anger from the Heavenly Father. Okay, and the thing that Job said, Job 2 and 10, which Job means hated. When you go into the word Job, it means hated or persecuted. Okay, this is Job 2 and 10, but he said unto her, so his wife was tripping, right? And he said unto her, it says, thou speakest as one foolish woman speaketh. Okay, what? Shall we receive good at the hand of thy power? And shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips? Okay, let me read this one more time. It's a Job 2 and 10. But Job, in the NLT, but Job, okay, uh, replied, and Job would be symbolic to what the very elect today, because they are hated and they are despised. Okay. But Job replied, and Job is catching hell, or, you know, caught hell, okay? But Job replied, you talk like a foolish woman. You <laughs> Should we accept only good things from the hand of thy power and never anything bad? So in all this, Job said nothing wrong. <laughs> exactly. So, again, the Lord gives you food, water, shelter, you know, a family, whatever it may be, the word, the truth, okay, the light, okay? But also you accept not to get the other things. Okay, so, you know, that's very important to have that understanding, okay, that it's not all 
uh, uh, you know, God is good, like the, the Christian church says. Yeah, he is good. But the thing is, is that you're in the flesh. So and you have to have that knowledge, wisdom and understanding to be able to even know that. OK, and that and again, that's another that's a gift. OK, because this thing is about suffering. OK. And like the brother said, you got to learn, <clears throat> learn how to embrace the pain and sufferings uh, with Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai had to, had to suffer. Look, read Matthew's twenty seven and about twenty seven, okay, where Yahweh Shai was put on the cross and he was mocked and he was scoffed even by his own people. This is James five and seven. It says, "Be patient, therefore, brethren." So, brethren is someone that's in the truth. Okay, the Aki and Aqua, the the ones that are sincere. Okay, be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, thy husbandmen waited for the precious fruit of the earth. And had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Okay, going into our Lord Yahweh Shai, coming back for um, the very elect. Be also patient, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord Jawath nigh. Yeah, so how do we know it's nigh? Through measuring the time diligently, through the scriptures. The wars and the rumors of wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the the, the beginning of, of, of many waxing cold. Okay, uh, the signs of, of the elect being sealed. Okay, the, um, you know, the false prophets. Okay, that's how we know. James 5 and 10, take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for example, of suffering and affliction and the patience. Yeah, the prophets. Okay, it says, behold, we count them happy, which endure. You have heard the patience of Job. You have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender and mercy. Okay, so going into... Um, <clears throat> You know, Job was catching hell, and then what I believe he got um, double fold, okay? And what Yahweh Shai, what is sitting on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, okay? And that goes into what the brother was quoting, uh, Sirach 12, or Slach, Slach, yeah, Sirach 2 and 10. That the Lord is very pitiful and tender mercy, okay? Those that what wait upon the Lord, okay? That, that don't, uh, you know, that endure in the what the suffering. Okay, and ask the Lord for help. This is First Thessalonians three and three. It says that no man should be moved by their afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed thereunto. So we're appointed these things to happen, ultimately to try our character. Okay, for verily when we were with you, we told you before that we should suffer tribulation, even as it came to pass. You know, yeah. So again, all the things that would be happening in this time. A man's foe shall be of his own household, you know, uh, be he as a pilgrim, okay, um, you know, the, the persecution coming down from, from the world, okay, so all these things got to happen, we were appointed that, okay, that, that's part of the duty, right, but the Lord is not going to give us too much we can't handle, it's 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, <laughs> It says, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 in the NLT. It says, the temptations in your life are no different from what others experience. And our power is faithful. He will not allow temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you can endure. So who's going to show the way out? The very elect. They're going to be able to have a way out. Why? Because they have faith. Okay. And many, many other things, but going into their faith and their belief that at any situation, the Lord will be able to, um, you know, take us out of that situation. It says Hebrews 10 and 23, let us hold fast the profession. So what's the profession doing this work of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promise. Who is faithful that promise? Our Lord, Yahabah Shemashah. He made a vow that he would come back for his very elect. Okay. So we got to hold fast to profession. To this profession, okay, which is his word, which is his truth, what this is like, okay, going through the suffering and the, and the, um, it speaks about that in Sirach 2 and 1. <clears throat> Sirach 2 and 1, it says, My son, if thou come to serve thy Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, and thou may be increased at the last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee and order that way all right and trust in him. 
Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest he fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see, did, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in the fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise and called upon? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy and long suffering, and very pitiful and forgiving sins, and save in the time of affliction. Okay? And that affliction is about to pop off. Okay? We're already under the affliction, but it's going to increase. Okay? So we have many different, you know, you had the three holy children, okay, that were in the furnace. Okay? You had um, a Jonah that was in the beast. Okay? Now we're in the belly of the beast as far as uh, this beast system. Okay? Um, you know, you had Job that was, you know, everything was taken from him. Okay, but he still hold fast. Yahweh was sent to a low estate, had had to suffer the mocking, the persecution. You know, uh, you know, being spit on. Okay, being mocked, being hanged. You know, John the Revelator had to go to the island of Patmos. You know, and still write the <laughs> write the Revelation to be able to give us uh, hope in this time, because what was written for our forward time was written for our learning that we may have hope. Okay, through the sufferings of of the men past, we're able to have hope. Okay, knowing that these things have to happen. Romans 15 and 4, it says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience, yet patience, long suffering, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah, hope and faith. Okay. First Peter 2 and 19. First Peter 2 and 19, for this is a thank worthy, this is for this is thank worthy if a man for his conscience towards our power endure grief and suffering wrongfully. Yeah, so again, you're going to have a lot of mockers and scoffers, okay? But what is Apostle, um, Apostle Paul, or Saki, uh, what is this scripture speaking about? First Peter 2, let me see. All right, so First Peter 2 and 19. It says, for this is a thank, this, for this is thank worthy. Okay, it pleases the Lord. If any man for conscience towards our power endure grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it when we be buffeted for the faults, you shall take it patiently. But if when you do well and suffer for it and take it patiently, this is acceptable with Yahweh Shema Shai. So, you know, for instance, you have the apostles that have been talking about the uh, Jacob's trouble, been talking about the MOT to the B, and you have other camps out there that are saying that it's not. And now um, you're seeing that the, the true prophet has been among them, far as they've been found out that they, you know, the head apostles at Great Millstone have the true doctrine because they've been speaking about the same thing, okay, for over 20 years, as far as the things that would happen. And now. The vision is yet for a point in time at the end it shall speak. And now it's, it's, it's jumping off the table as far as those that have eyes out to see. Those that have the true understanding of the breakdown, which would be the very elect, the hopeful elect. James 1 and 12, it says, Blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life when the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Okay, let me read this NLT. It says, The Most High, Yahabah Shemashai, blesses those who patiently endure testing, temptation afterward they will receive the crown of life that our power has promised to those who love him those who love him those who love him are going to be able to what endure to the end okay and i'll end it right here in this scripture this is micah 3 is revelation 3 and 10 because thou hast kept thy word of my patience i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth yeah the hour of temptation where esau edom implements uh, the MOT to the B, which is something that's physical. They want to bet inside of your body, control your buying and selling. Uh, so they want to have a device inside of you. And I'm speaking about they, Esau, Edom, the so-called white men. Okay, that's their that's their push to, towards their no one order. Okay, it says, because thou hast kept that word of my patience. Okay, who's the word? Yahweh Shai. I will also keep thee for the hour of temptation when the MOT to B is, is man mandated. And when you think about an hour of your life, it's very intimate. Okay, that's why you have to have the Lord, Revelation 3 and 18 in the same chapter. It speaks about the Lord supping with you, being intimate with you, giving you intimate knowledge. Okay, which shall come upon the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And behold, I come quickly, hold thy fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Which is, what is the crown? The wisdom. Okay, Revelation 3 and 10, because you have obeyed my command to, to preserve 
I will, it says, because you have obeyed my command to preserve, I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take that crown. Okay. And that goes, crown goes into what? Again, the wisdom, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to have stability in that times. Okay. And what part of that crown is what enduring the sufferings. Okay. So I ended right here. This is Philippians 1 and 29. Philippians 1 and 29 in the NLT. For you have been given not only a privilege of trusting in Amashiach, but also the privilege of suffering for him. Okay, so it's a privilege. So with that, call Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash, Shalom to the Let, Kwam Yahweh